Hi, my name is Mary Spender and in this video I am going to learn one of my favourite songs called Forget Her by Jeff Buckley. So you will be able to tell by the change in my surroundings that I am not at home. I am in Nashville and this afternoon I am headed out to go and visit an incredible guitar store, which I've already had a wander around, but I have organized some filming with them, so I'm going to go and do a few videos. What I thought I'd do was learn a cover um, because I have a guitar in mind that I want to play it's not necessarily like the same guitar that Jeff Buckley played at all, but it's along the same vein. And I just thought I would learn the song on my Martin, in my Airbnb, and document the process, because I haven't ever played this song live. I didn't ever do it in my cover band. Um, it's not the most popular Jeff Buckley song at all. And I'm not even sure if it was on the original version of Grace, I think it was an extra uh, sort of bonus song when they re-released it. Please correct me if I am wrong, but I think it's one of I think it's one of the best heartfelt lyrics. I think it's just one of the best songs that he actually wrote. And I know everyone has their favorite Jeff Buckley songs and all that, but this one is definitely mine. And the lyrics speak to me very much. They are very heartbroken and the original riff is actually very, very simple, uh, as I've just started to discover, but it's nice and minor and it's, um, it's quite rocky. So, I'm going to initially have a little listen, of which I will not play you the song. You can go and check it out. I will put a link in the description. And then I'll just get learning it and get rehearsing it as well. God, I've only got a short amount of time to, to pull this off. So... <laughs> Also, if there are stray sirens around, um, please forgive me. I am in the centre of Nashville and it is quite busy nowadays. I haven't been here in five years and it's already changed so, so much. So um, do bear that in mind. So this song revolves around A minor and E minor, uh, which means the guitarist is in standard tuning, which is perfect for my voice range. Um, and Jeff Buckley's vocal range was absolutely incredible, as most of you will know. So just trying to do this song justice is, is going to be hard enough, but the opening is quite simple, actually. It, it just starts on A, and then goes to E minor, but it's, it's open strings, so it's just E, D, G. This bit's quite cool because it's quite dissonant. It's the third fret on the E string and then just third up, and third up again. So G, C, F. stops and then it just mainly revolves around the A minor and E minor as mentioned. While this town is busy sleeping All the noise has died away I walk the streets to stop my weeping Cause she'll never change her ways and I think I am tempted to leave it he separates each note and I sort of like pull off All the noise has died away I walk 
the streets to stop my weeping Cause she'll never change her ways Do you know what? That's actually probably a good way to... If you are beginning to sing and play guitar at the same time, this is actually a really nice verse because you could just play the A minor. While this town is busy sleeping and just leave it ringing. So you're getting used to just sort of strumming a chord. While this town is busy sleeping and sort of keeping an internal clock going. All the noise has died away. I walk the streets to start my weeping. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything different there. I just don't think I will mess with that. Because then the chorus goes to F major. Which I also understand from talking to a few of my friends who are beginning to play guitar. It is a very, very difficult chord for beginners. And I remember being given quite good advice. Instead of putting your finger like on the E string, on the lowest E string, you sort of have to put your finger sideways, straighten your finger, make it really strong, and then you just bar chord on the on the first fret all across its six strings. And it does hurt, but you'll get used to it. Um, and then it's sort of like a power chord, but while that first finger is down the index. And then you just tuck your middle finger behind the power chord. But you have to make sure that that first, well, the index finger is, uh, is super strong and against, otherwise it can, otherwise you get those dead notes. So anyway. And my heart feels so steel as I try to find the will to forget her somehow. I think I've forgotten her now. So back to the main. Obviously for that bit, you can actually just use a pick. Which does sound a lot stronger, but because of it being based around A and E, what I want to end up doing, and this is just as I figure this song out, I sort of want to do a bit of a solo where I play with my thumb, the A and the E, um, and I wouldn't be able to do this if I was using a plectrum, so I sort of want to... So, second verse, how does that go? Her love is a rose, pale and dying Dropping her petals in land unknown Forget her somehow She's somewhere out there now This is where the guitar solo comes in and his solo is incredible but he does have a full band behind them so
because mm. I don't know whether to keep a beat like you guys know I like to do. I wonder if I said. Yeah, the bridge, you have to play the intro. That's where tears falling down So try to forget A love was a joke from a day that we met All of the words, all of my man All of my pain when I think back to when It does repeat the chorus. Cool. Okay, so it is a complicated song in one avenue in terms of the lyrics and the vocals, um, but the guitar part is relatively straightforward. Um, it's just making sure I stay in time so that I'm not going. As my tears fall down, I forget I love such a you know, I just don't, I can't I can't rush that bit. In that in that bridge, when I am playing the intro underneath it, well my tears falling down as I try to forget her love was a joke from the day that we met, the day that we met. I need to make sure I hit each of those. It's such a bluesy uh, melody. The day that we met, remember her hair. For yourself, she was heartache from the moment that you made her. I'm sort of adding in that chord. If you want to play it at home, um, it's open E, and then you jump up to the E on the A string, but you put your middle finger on the seventh fret. And then going up from there, it's the sixth fret with your index finger, your first finger, then your fourth finger just behind on the seventh fret too. Very similar to, it's just the same shape. And then, and you just put, you put your little finger on the eighth fret on the B string. And then you just sort of block the top E string. That's the best thing about doing cover versions, you can add in the chords you want to play because you're doing the cover version. Um, you don't want it to be an exact replica all the time. If I was playing electric guitar as well, I would definitely be using a pick so I could be like... Alright, I need to just rehearse this. She'll never change her ways Don't fool yourself She was heartache from the moment that you made her And my heart feels so still as I try
pale and dying Dropping her petals in land unknown All full of wine the world before her Was sober with no place to go Don't fool yourself She was hard from the guitar solo. Uh, I think I've got the basics down and I am just going to have to keep on rehearsing it up until the time I need to go to the store to do the filming but thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video I really appreciate it if you have any other suggestions of songs I should learn please write them in the comments below um, if you want to support me on Patreon I have a Patreon page where there are exclusive videos nowadays so please check that out as well, that will be in the description. The tab I'll use is also in the description, not sponsored, just it's what I use. And yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you very soon. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a good rest of your day.